It is supposed to be a hot one today. Check this out. It's supposed to be upwards of 47 degrees today. 47. Yep. Time to fog up. Are you in there? Are you, are you in there? Yeah, there you are. So as you can see, the camera's not a fan of the heat. Well, neither am I, although I do like it warm, but still, that's a little warm. We're going to head off to Windsor today. We're going to go to Colonial Coffee. Alvin and the Chipmunks playing in the background here. And we're going to bring you along. Welcome back to the coffee bar as promised Got some Kenya dark roast last time I did a review on Starbucks coffee from Kenya I was a, might have been a little harsh on it I mean it doesn't say that it was a blend right on the front but when you read the fine print it's a blend so I told you that I would go get some actual coffee from Kenya strictly from Kenya where'd I go where else? Colonial Coffee in Windsor. And no, this is not a sponsored video. That's just the place to go. And if you've never been there, I'll leave a link to their Facebook page down below. It's the place to go to get coffee. I went and I bought myself two pounds of Kenya Dark Roast. And I think I paid, I think it was right around $12.50 for this bag of coffee. Which is not too bad. And of course, it's whole bean. And as usual... We're going to try it black, then we're going to try it with milk. Truth be told, I've already had about five cups out of this, so I already know. You're going to know in a minute. Okay, so I was going, let me get this going here. Guys, I was going to uh, French press this, but I thought if I did that, it would have given it an unfair advantage to the other Kenyan coffee that I had. So, all right, guys, while we are waiting on this, last time we talked about the country of Kenya. Now we're going to talk about the coffee from Kenya. So I'm looking on uh, Google here and. I see this coffee range is in whole bean from anywhere from $13.99 a pound to $18.33 a pound. Uh, roughly around $20. I also see one here for $80. I'm hoping that's a five pound bag for $80. But nevertheless, uh, coffee production in Kenya. The coffee industry in Kenya is noted for its cooperative system of production, processing, milling, marketing, and auction system. About 70% of Kenyan coffee is produced by small-scale holders. The major coffee growing regions in Kenya are the high plateaus around Mount Kenya and the Aberdare Range and some other ones that I just can't pronounce. It says here that the acidic soil in the highlands of central Kenya is just the right and just the right amount of sunlight and rainfall provide excellent conditions for growing coffee plants. I can tell you, prior to even drinking this, that it is good coffee. This is the some of the pricing of the coffee that comes out of Kenya. Kenya coffee is traded once a week at the Nairobi Coffee Exchange. It is based at the Wakalima House. Not quite sure what that is. The coffee is packaged in single bags of 60 kilograms, but the bids are made per 50 kilogram bag. It says here below is a sample of the average prices of coffee per 50 kilogram bag. The AAA coffee is $377.20. 
per 50 kilos. AB, which I think is a lot, obviously a lower, the grade's getting lower as we go here. $317.42. The C grade is $239. Well, maybe it doesn't get lower. The PB grade, again, I don't know what that means, uh, is $308. And so on and so forth. There's many different grades. So, clearly, Kenya is a premier coffee grower within the world and uh, produces some awesome coffee. But, this is done. Let's see what we got. Again, this is the Kenyan Dark Roast from Colonial Coffee. And that has got a bite to it. Let's try the milk. I can tell you this is going to be my preferred way to drink this. got a real earthy flavor to it. The milk just softens the bite just a little bit, but that is my preferred way to drink this one here. So I got to say, while the Marley coffee the other day made its way into the top 10, I'm going to put the Marley coffee probably in the top 4. This Kenya coffee is going to be inside the top 3. If not inside the top two, this is pretty good coffee. I'd recommend this coffee anytime. Well, now I say anytime. I don't mean any time of day. This is obviously a morning or mid afternoon coffee. This is not an evening coffee before you go to bed. If you're looking to get some of this coffee straight from Kenya to the roaster and roasted to perfection, again, this is not a sponsored ad. I actually paid for this coffee from Colonial Coffee, but majority of the coffee that I get comes from there because the selection is second to none. They have coffee from everywhere, all different grades, all different roasts, all different climates, all different countries. Well, there you have it. Dark Roast Coffee from Kenya is a major, major success. Top two. It's got to be top two. I think maybe in the next video I might give out my list of top ten coffees that I've had, starting with the best to the not best. Best to not best. I don't want to say worse because it's not the worst coffee. So good to least good. Top 10, one being the best. We're going to go with that. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, like I said, I told you I would get to Colonial Coffee, get the Kenyan coffee, strictly Kenyan coffee, no blend. And there it is. Remember what I always said, the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. I'll see you on the next one. Later.